This White House has often struggled with the fact that when it comes to getting their message out to the American public, the best person for the job and sometimes the only person for the job has been the president himself. That's why it's somewhat surprising that it took Obama 37 days to answer questions about the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. That oil spill is now the largest in U.S. history. The goal of Thursday's press conference was to provide an answer to a question that's been difficult for others in the administration to answer. Who exactly is in charge of the response to the oil spill? Obama's answer was crystal clear. Make no mistake, BP is operating at our direction. While Obama did defend his administration's handling of the crisis, he was far from defensive. In several instances, he admitted that there were areas where the government has made mistakes. And as he often does, Obama made the issue personal. And when I woke up this morning uh, and I'm shaving and Malia knocks on my bathroom door and she peeks in her head and she says, uh, uh, did you plug the hole yet, Daddy? This press conference was unique in that most of the reporters Obama called on stayed on the same topic, the oil spill. But also on the docket were Afghanistan, Arizona's controversial new immigration law, and reports that the White House offered to give Pennsylvania Senate candidate Joe Sestak a job if he didn't run against longtime Senator Arlen Specter. On that, Obama said, stay tuned. There will be an official response shortly on the Sestak issue, uh, which I hope will answer your questions. Uh, you will get it from my administration. Thursday's news conference comes as Obama has been taking hits for not taking questions from the press. In fact, this was Obama's first White House news conference in 10 months. And while Thursday's round of questioning is sure to quell reporters' demands for access to the president for the time being, it certainly won't for long. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, The White House.